Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Drinks with the Band. I'm Chris Denman, live in St. Louis. Big show tonight. We've got DOG joining from Nashville, but uh, as we always do, my man, E.T., Eric Tukoski, live from Los Angeles. He's the U.S. rep for Jack Daniels. Huge thanks to Brown Foreman, Jack Daniels, for making this possible every week. What's up, buddy? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. It, it certainly is, and I'm thinking to myself, um, you know, I thought we were going to lead with the big Kim Kardashian, Kanye West news tonight, but uh, some, dickheads, <laughs> some dickheads on the East Coast have decided to make it about themselves, and I don't even get to talk uh, Kardashian news, which is what we had on our, uh, our rundown to start with the lead. How are you other than uh, the madness that's going on uh, in our capital right now? You know... Uh... Outside of that, good. Happy to be here. Happy to be in a new year. But it's impossible not to at least comment on the mayhem. You know, I think I, I think I cleared it calling them dickheads up top. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. No. You, no. You, sorry. You take did it. it. No, you did it. You did it. The all I was going to say is it's we keep doing the same things over and over again, and it, the writing's on the wall. If you put love into the world, you get love back. If you put hate into the world, you get hate back. And it's just incredible that we can't all just learn this lesson. We don't have to agree on everything. Yeah. I mean, I don't agree with my wife on everything. Um, often not, and she's usually right, but we don't fight about it all the time. We don't, you know, I'm not yeah. storming the bedroom and, you know, demanding, uh, you know, whatever, pizza and wings for dinner. So right. I don't understand why we, it's okay not to agree with stuff, but let's not hate the world and make the world worse for everybody. Yeah, and again, just ridiculous things going on and we decided to go ahead and still do the show tonight we've got dog super awesome band from uh, nashville joining tonight very excited to talk to them they made time for us we make time for you guys every week and everybody's so kind to always tune in so we thought why not provide some distraction uh i was getting super annoyed uh just watching these punks uh do this terrible stuff today so happy to be here i could go on for another 20 minutes but this is about uh some cocktails some music and uh if you got opinions i don't know, let them go in the comments i don't care we'll talk about it um but we've got a great drink tonight like i said dog is going to be here we're going to talk to them at about 20 after so if you're a dog fan do know that you'll hear some songs from them have some good conversation uh et and i do this show each and every week thanks to jack daniels and we also want to say thanks to the Kranzberg arts foundation our friends at snappy bigman coffee and uh if any of this stuff has you stressed out or anything else look up st louis counseling services big fans of theirs and they do the podcast mental health matters right here in st louis at midcoast media um et new year new you i mean if it ain't broke you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah that's that's no, good <laughs> no look there's always there's always room to improve on everything so yeah it, you know new years are always it's just a weird um line we draw in the sand like hey you know the clock change whatever happened it's time to do something different but i think it's always good to look at yourself look at the world and make changes you know i don't think you need it's it's okay on march 19th to decide that's when you're going to go to the gym you know you don't have to do it and then feel like you failed when you're not 30 pounds lighter and you know in a dream job by january 12th i will keep this dream job but i wouldn't mind being 30 pounds lighter by january 12th i'll just take a couple meals off that's how it works when you're uh when you're the size well, man you just take a few days you know, off I, you're good there's a guy i that works at the distillery is a big guy and on that last time i saw him he wasn't such a big guy i'm like man you look great what'd you do he's like well i used to have two burgers for lunch now i got one <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, all, right. all right cool yeah, sounds pretty simple yeah you know? it is um Cut the two burgers to one yeah and that's something that uh i'll look into down the line not quite yet though um <laughs> we do uh we do a cocktail we do some giveaways Tonight, we'll give away a DOG t-shirt. We'll tell you how you can get that, but we also have a Jack Daniels prize to give away. Um, let's start off with a cocktail, though. What do you have for us, man? Yeah, we're going to do... I figured it's the new year, and and as you were saying, a lot of people like to... This is the time they want to reinvent or reimagine what they're doing. So instead of a full-strength cocktail, I went with a lighter cocktail. So a play on words called the high-low ball. So it's a mm -hmm. high ball with a low alcohol content, low ABV. So the high-low ball. Um, and super easy to make, which is also fun because who wants to work hard after a busy holiday season? You well, ready you know to rock me. with this? 
Yeah, you know me. I'm a, I've got a bit of a flair for the wild when it comes to cocktails. I like to show off my many years of craft cocktail experience. Um, so, so thank you. No, I've, I've seen it, man. I've seen it. That's why I make yeah. this easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. Let's, yeah. Let's see kick, what you can do. Kick us off, man. What do we have? All right. So all you need to start out with is a glass. We're going to build it right in the glass. So this is super easy. Um, I've been, so I've been handed two glasses by the uh, lovely team of Key and Monk, uh, yeah. the producers tonight. What do you think they're inferring? You think they're saying like, Hey pal, keep them coming. Is that what we're saying? No, I think they just really wanted to make more drinks for you. I don't think they wanted anything. From oh, just for me. Okay. Yeah. great. I don't think they wanted anything. Um, but you're going to fill your glass with ice. I've got ice. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, enough for two. Oh, you are a good guy. Um, so yeah, so we're just a typical shots, an ounce and a half of booze. We're going to start and just do three quarter ounce of Jack Daniels. So Got your Jack. A shot. Mm -hmm. like and let us know if you're beer. making it, uh, making this at home. I do love that people tag us and, uh, say they're drinking along with us, kicking it, hanging out. Got the low alcohol content. Got you there. Yeah. Now we're just going to do a little quarter ounce of Aperol, which is um, an Italian aperitif. So think it's it's like the sweeter, more fruity version of Campari. So it's a little bit bitter, but there's some some citrus notes and it's a little bit sweeter. It's just a quarter ounce. Now, are you proud of me that we have Aperol and not like Aldi all? Like, <laughs> I, think, <laughs> right. I didn't go get best save version of it. I, I work for the real thing. Yeah, I like it. All right, keeping it moving. Yeah. And then really all you have to do at this point is top it off with a little ginger ale. Ready for the top? I've even got uh, I've even got a surprise. Thanks to uh -oh. Key. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have to do the next step. I like to. I just give it a little stir. That way you're not drinking through soda before you get to all the other flavors. This way it kind of... little grapefruit. little grapefruit for it, too. Yeah, we didn't get there yet, but thanks for giving away the, the secret at the end. <laughs> thanks for reading the last chapter of the book. Before uh, we, you know. Hey, thanks for playing the closer before the uh, show ended. Okay, going to go Wait, ahead you and don't circle through. You to heaven, man. <laughs> Yeah, and then a little grapefruit twist or pure. <laughs> so I hear. Go. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. One for me and one for whatever hand comes up here first. Let's see. Go ahead and put it here. <laughs> Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody out there, too. Um, tonight, we've got a great Jack Daniels prize to give away, thanks to uh, E.T. I don't know if you have anything in particular you're wanting to do with I this. Do, I, have, I, I have an idea. Okay, so what are you, what are you giving away? Um, I'm giving away. I figured with all the social distancing we're doing and all the backyard parties and all the seeing a, you know drive-in shows, sometimes people need to sit places. So why not <laughs> give away, right? How, pra how practical. Yeah, a gorgeous, comfortable hold your drink uh, camping chair for your um, social distance events. Hello, hello with the Jack yeah. Daniels logo. I'm digging that. And it's got uh, a very nice. Pocket. It's got a place for your drink. Okay. It folds up. You can put it right over your shoulder. Go sh the next thing. show up on, so, on DOG's lawn and demand a, a show. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Cool. All right. Exactly. What are they the doing? To... Go ahead. What are no. they doing to win? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, after today's events, I started thinking about all the protest songs that have come out in the past year and how terrible they all are, at least the ones I've heard. We've heard um, one good we've heard one good one for sure. Real quick. You probably don't remember it. Yeah, our, uh, our, you, you, go ahead. Our first episode, Drinks with the Band, Erica Winterstrom, Heartless Bastards, debuted what she released as a single not long after called Revolution, That Song Rules. And you, I'm sure you like it as well, but it's been, yes, that was our no, very first remember. episode. Yes. Yeah. But there's very, so let me, all right. Now that no, you're no. calling me out, let me, very you're few right. good quality 
protest song, even from people we love um, or used to love, and they just haven't written good songs. So I've seen about the ones I do love, and then there's For What It's Worth, which I always forget is not an anti-war song, and I always forget it's not really a big protest song against the man. It sort of is, but that song was written for the Sunset Strip curfews. So when they're like telling the kids you can't hang out to whiskey late night, go home. That was what that, but it does sound like such a, but you know, obviously it's the classics like the Dylan, uh, was it Masters of War and um, all this stuff that's just really powerful. So I think if people put in their favorite protest song, we'll pick one and that's the person that wins the, uh, the prize. Let us know. Take the chair to your next uh, to your next sit in. I'm I'm down. Yeah, man. right. Okay. The uh, I'm it, also offering a second prize tonight. You're going two. Yes. Interesting. So yeah, this is I'm go you you were not prepared for this. I know that really you're throwing me for a loop here. And you know I don't yes. I do I do I'm such a meticulous planner. This show is scripted every week. <laughs> I'm going off script. <laughs> right. So. Man. And this is really, this is more of a favor to me. I'm going to offer someone a gift as a favor to me. So if, some, if anyone's been watching the show, you know that I was gearing up to launch my own podcast. Um, so rever uh, Reversal of Roles, where Chris came on as my producer and I, came, and I came on as the host. And I did lots of research, but not enough. So I named the podcast incorrectly because someone already had the name. Uh, and it's, I interview rock luminaries. Like the first episode was a photographer named Alec Byrne. Oh my gosh. Bowie, yes. Right. The guy has a million stories. He shot uh, Bob Marley, the Stones, Zeppelin, the Who, you name it. He was there from like 66 to 71 in London. And anyone that came through, he met, he photographed. Great guy, great stories. Um, and each episode, a bartender friend of mine will come on and make a cocktail. So I thought, what a great name, Rock Tales, spelling tales, T-A-I-L-S. So it's Rock Tales stories, Rock Tales cocktails. And as your backing media company, Midcoast Media was, go for it, buddy. Sounds awesome. It. Yeah, we'll yeah, produce it. This we is great. You. Yeah, so I had you guys on board to produce, and we shot a few episodes. I paid a designer to make me a logo, mm. all this good stuff. And then I find out that someone already has the name on their own podcast. So. <laughs> My challenge to the audience is you can either put it in, if you are a genius and have it ready to rock in the next 10 minutes, put it in the chat or DM me at Superhype LLC and give me a cool podcast name that kind of encaptures storytelling and rock and roll and drinking in a fun, classy, clever way. And if you do all of that, <laughs> I will send you a prize package of your, uh, we can actually go through it and I'll, I'll give you some options of really cool Jack swag. Uh, but I mean, I'll send you something amazing if you are the one that comes up with that name. Believe that the guy has access to all the cool Jack Daniels stuff. So very cool. So that's the bonus. So hook ET up with a great podcast name. If you want, just comment too, if you want to do that, but if you got a really good one, go to Instagram, super hype LLC on Instagram. Check that out. Uh, we'll get to DOG in just a second. Quick reminder, we've got the Jack Daniels giveaway. We'll give away the chair. If you let, you will pick a random winner from the comments. Give us your favorite protest song. You can even make a case for a non-protest song being your protest song. So we'll look into that. You can win that Jack Daniels chair and, uh, and we'll pick a winner by the end of the show. And then if you hit share, you're entered to win a DOG t-shirt courtesy of Jack Daniels. We love supporting the artists. So we'll buy a t-shirt and then uh, hook you guys up. So everybody that shares, you're entered to randomly win a DOG t-shirt. So check that out. Look at that. That nice. is what we call great giveaways. Mm. You want to meet the band? I would love to meet the band. All right, let's, let's jump this. right in. Uh, we, right got in. Uh, we got Zach, Dylan, and Dylan Matt. And Matt. What's up? <laughs> we've got the. We've got the. We're hearing some echo we're back. Some echo back. Mm. Okay. I'll echo just. Back. I'll just. I'm hearing myself I'm some. Hearing myself some. We'll How work through it. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Maybe oh, not. Maybe. I'm a genius. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? 
Cheers. Cheers, yeah, hey. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, cheers, cheers. How are y'all doing? Well, we're better well, now. We're it's better great now. to see you. <laughs> do you hear that, E.T.? I do. I do hear it. I do. I do. Uh, uh, let's just jump let's into just a song. Jump into a song. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, guys. What's uh, What's let us know the name of the song. song. You're live in Nashville. Yeah, this song is called New Way of Life. Kill it, Kill it. get it, guys. Get it, guys. That sounds like a new single called New Way of Life. Oh, yeah, it does. Thanks, dogs. I think we have a graphic for that, too. You guys can see that on Spotify. There might be a mic we could kill. Yeah? I'm not sure. At worst, we'll hear some good tunes and people can hear me twice. I don't care. What's up in Nashville, fellas? It's great to see you. Good to see you all. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome. Nashville's had a rough year as well, man. You guys have had your share of no fun in Nashville. Yeah, sure. Bombs you guys and tornadoes. Have been through it. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, thank you for having good music to get us through because that, that song kicked ass. I want to, I also want to know though, the hat, uh, I don't, I'm unfamiliar with your name, so I'll say the gentleman in the middle with the captain's hat. Is that is that a nod to our dearly departed um, Marianne from Gilligan's Island? No. <laughs> <laughs> Least favorite character. <laughs> 
Yeah. More of a ginger person. Gotcha. <laughs> No, I'm more of a Mary man. Uh, no, it's coincidental. <laughs> all right, I actually all right. bought it because I needed some white clothes and I needed a white hat. So uh, I felt like that was pretty suitable for a white hat. <laughs> it's good. Captain Zach has a nice ring to it. I agree. It does. I agree. It does. It does. Uh, what's uh, happening what's in Nashville happening with you guys? How have, guys uh, have, uh, have you weathered, have the, you storm? weathered the storm? As far as just as being as home, as not being able to be out on the road. friends lose houses and shit and um uh it's been real as fuck <laughs> but not playing has not been an option so we've been uh live streaming a lot of stuff so just dancing around the hurdles that's basically what that's you have to do at this point you've got the name got change. The change you've got, you've got festivals, festivals coming up, coming up. <laughs> i saw all I kinds saw of good all things from people, people i care about i care about that like you guys, like you've you got to feel like you're in like a, a good spot, spot that you're ascending, ascending right, right now, now despite, despite the kind of weirdness with the industry. industry. Yeah, um, it's kind of been weird, like not having shows to play. We got done with the the album that we're putting out this year. Uh, we finished recording it a while ago, but we've kind of slowly been chipping away at it and figuring out a way to release it. And it just got to the point where it's like, well, if we can't do shows, we do have an album on the back burner. We might as well do all the work. Because that takes a lot of stuff that's just underground work that you don't really see. Right. And it's right. a lot easier when you're not on tour. So it kind of everything timed up nicely. We just announced we're working with a new talent agency. So that's been really cool. we got a lot of stuff coming up talent. right now. So, yeah, it feels like it's all a new way, a new beginning. New year, you know. As far as yeah, go ahead, ET. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna comment, man. You guys sound amazing, and we've had artists with one guitar struggle to have the sound right on these virtual shows, and you have three musicians, and you guys killed it. So I don't know what your technique is, but yeah, dude, probably luck. luck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, all of this I, is probably luck. Just I, wait till the end. We'll sound plenty awful. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, I'm burning perfect. some sage right now for everybody out there and right, everything right now. This goes out to everyone. And shout out to Heart Saloon in Chicago. I just want to say hey to my boys. Uh, if, you, if, uh, if you've never heard of it, don't worry. Don't go. It's probably too cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of shared, speaking friends, shared friends, and I bet I have a reason have why, they, why, sound why so they sound so good. And the, shout out. The, to who? To Josh. Josh Eaker. Josh brother, Eaker. Lee. Josh, brother Lee. Brother Lee. I would think the, I would way, think you the way, way, way you guys have come up grinding, grinding through every, every type of show, type possible, of show possible, 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 possible makes this a breeze, for, this you a breeze for you guys. Yeah, I think so. We've uh, There was one time when uh, our van basically locked itself and we couldn't, I guess one of the cases fell on the lock and we couldn't get the case off, so we couldn't get our gear out. And at the end of the day, it was kind of like, I don't know, like, let's grab some acoustic guitars and play on some boxes or something. I don't know. We've, like, we've done it before. You don't cancel. <laughs> yeah. Tonight. Tonight. You see. You yeah. see. But, yeah, I, we were literally driving down the road, like, trying to slam on the brakes and get this case to fly forward <laughs> or, like, swerve and try to get the Because this has to... happened before once in Sweden, and yeah. the old stomp and get the case off it worked. Uh, yeah. But it didn't work this time. No, uh, eventually we just timed it right to where like we were pulling the door and hitting the unlock button at the same time and it unlocked, but we can, we can play just about any kind of setup. You don't cancel. <laughs> uh, Cancelings for uh, losers. You, sh you should make sure to say that. Yeah. I'm into it. You don't, don't fucking can cancel. You shit yourself on stage and you puke is what you do when you have food poisoning at South by Southwest. For example, I mean, hypothetically, Random, right? You do. Hypothetically. I mean, yeah, you can always take the G.G. Allen route. That's a tried and true method. G.G. was just dedicated to his craft and he ha happened to have... <laughs> High fiber diet. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> they love performing. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say he's dedicated, dedicated to his crap. But... <laughs> Yeah. Next time. Next time. Hey, oh, damn it. 
next time. <laughs> You'll work on it. You played on. South by played Southwest. South by Southwest. Railbird, Railbird as well. As well. Shout out to the yeah. best festival in the West of all, uh, Railbird. What do you know about Railbird? In, in Lexington, Kentucky, uh, they've only had a chance to do one, but it's been the best festival I, I've ever been a part of or seen. I yeah. would say so. Would say so. Yeah, and they're doing a, they're they're gearing up for twenty one, so it's on. That's a short drive, a short drive from, St. Louis. from St. Louis. I should I should, I should come check that out. Lexington's beautiful. It sure is, and the Keeneland grounds are ideal for listening to music and drinking a lot. Very nice. Very nice. Et, I know you probably got to get out of here. I'll leave you with, uh, you with uh, another song another from our, song? our friends. Our friends. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. I I, I do want to pre apologize but i'm going to make it up to you because typically all day i listen to the artist that comes on and dig them and something else came up today that had me watching instead but the song i heard right before the show and the song you guys just played have inspired me now to go geek out and stalk you on uh, spotify so thank you so you have at least one new fan today well, it's made, way more uplifting to watch us than uh, a lot of the other stuff you could be watching. Yeah, I made I made the mistake, made of, mistake of watching that, watch but that. I won't do it again. Yeah, let's just take a minute. We all did. Let's take a minute, have a breath, unclench our jaw. Dylan, are you unclenching your jaw? Roll your shoulders back. A breath. Posture. Un unclench the jaw. Two seconds. We'll get right back to it. Okay. All right. Everybody watching. Okay. Okay. All right, since Much we're all, better. do you guys feel better? I feel a little bit better. I do. Yeah, I feel a lot Relax. Better. Relax. That's fantastic. I hope everybody's with us out there. Cheers. But since this Cheers. is a drinking song, and since you're the drinking guy, let's do potatoes and whiskey. Sounds like, sounds like a country song. I hear more country songs on the news today. All right, this song is called Potatoes and Whiskey. Uh, shout out to Margo Price, who sang on this original recording with us. Margo. Keep being the blessed leader we need now. You are the fundamental strong woman. Amen.
Look at DOG fucking rock. Yeah. I can't stop looking at your hair, Zach. It's great, isn't it? It's fantastic, but I can't stop looking for another reason. Zach does a little Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Zach, baby, get corn road. How do you how do you keep that from getting ripped out every two seconds? Corn road it once for a competition. Okay. And that was great. Uh, other than that, I just let them rip it out. Um, <laughs> feel like if you're going to have long hair and do that kind of stuff, it's just going to happen. And I really can't afford to have cornrows being done on a regular basis. Um, mm -hmm. So just try to tie it really tight back into a ponytail. Okay. okay. I think you deserve a, a stripe every time you yeah. lose a chunk. Oh, yeah. It'll shoot it. If it that's the case. <laughs> you guys were mentioning guys playing, mentioned playing on the road, on the road and you never and cancel. You never cancel. Weirdest thing Weirdest you've played thing drums, you've played on, drums Zach. on, Zach. Oh. Man, there's been some weird ones. Um, bowling balls. Bowling balls. Yeah. I actually, I was really kind of fiddling around with the bowling ball holes more than anything else. <laughs> but... I, I was like intrigued. you do. It sounded, honestly, As one it sounded does. Amazing. If there was a microphone in that bowling alley, we would have had samples, hit on samples of the record. Pharrell wouldn't have known one to hit him. Oh, man. Oh, the man. Weirdest birthday weirdest party birthday for those party children, for children, children ever, huh? Children ever, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Real just, just show up just and show start up playing. And start playing. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned festivals. festivals. Real birds Real coming, birds back, coming said. back, you said. In a big way. Huge way, Huge way in Lexington. Biggest, Lexington. Biggest, biggest, big plume, big plume feathers, everywhere. feathers everywhere. Fireworks. Awesome. I didn't say that. <laughs> Illegal fireworks. Do, how do you guys plan on approaching that? I know you're going to be part of that. Is, is Are you seeking out other spots on festivals, touring in the summer? What's the plan? Oh, we're not going to Railbird. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, not that we know of yet. Uh, okay. Okay. That's that's next year, but we don't know yet. They haven't announced. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, it's just a hunch. I don't know. This is how it is being in a band. You kind of get wind of what your career is doing. <laughs> Do you feel like after feel things like kind of cool down, I guess, down, with, this I guess stuff, with this stuff, that Nashville is going to be stronger than before? Is it going to be too competitive? competitive? I feel like more I feel people like are going to be in Nashville. When the, when the when you're able to walk, able back, to walk outside back outside than beforehand, yeah. beforehand. like not as many like people are going to be in LA or New York. Or New York. <clears throat> no, I think Nashville is going to continue to grow. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think it's. I mean, there's a good side and a bad side to everything, but um, I think like more musicians and there being more music is always a good thing. Um, hopefully, more music keeps happening. Yeah. Right. That'll, I mean, be, that'll be okay. As long as there's music, we'll be fine. Yeah, I'll take all Aww. the murals and the brunch girls standing in front of them if we get more music. As long as, like, nerdy young kids who think that music is a way of life keep moving here, then we're going to be fine. I think that, that's great. I think that's great. And I think that will keep happening. They keep showing up, and it's great. <laughs> I was one. Don't you don't say? <laughs> Both of you? Both of you? Zach is from here. See, that's got to be See, really weird. Be really weird. It's weird. <laughs> all of us, all of us natives are pretty weird too. So it's true, and they don't have accents. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like what? Yeah, like okay, what some of them do, but uh, mm, yeah, but yeah, you're right though. You're right though. Is it is how far out do you go? Ten, you ten minutes, you get an accent. You could, if, yeah, if you go like ten or fifteen minutes in the right direction, you go, you're to, the, you go to the nearest bedazzled boot store, and you are gonna find an accent. <laughs> I grew up an hour grew south up an of St. Louis. St. Louis. I lived in the country. Crazy accents. <laughs> Weird accents, Weird for, accents sure. for sure. <laughs> but it was always funny to Southern me whenever... Missouri has some of the weirdest accents. You see, it's like... Uh, you know... Thank you. Thank you. Like, what, what's going on with that? What's going on with that? I was being sarcastic. I think it's very, think strange. It's very strange. You'll have people that grow up within an hour of St. <laughs> Louis. St. Louis. You can be sarcastic can be all you want, but they'll sound like they're from Southern Mississippi. Southern Mississippi. Very confusing. It's very confusing. Where does that come from? I don't know. I don't know. TV. Is that the Ozarks? I'm, I'm from kind of Oregon, and they have some weird fake Southern accents when they when you get into Carhartt territory. Now we're talking. Getting, now we're talking. It starts getting real Southern, and I'm you, like, what? Yeah. 
<laughs> From Oregon, what's happening there? <laughs> you enunciate every letter. So <laughs> you get a free accent a with, free a can of skull. with a can of skull. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple more really songs to get to. Like skull <laughs> rings up. This, it seasons the vocals to sound mm -hmm. like a hillbilly. That would be that. That'd be solid advertising. Skull, yeah. holla, we got you. Marketing campaign. Uh, one of your friends uh, your was friend kind was enough, kind to, enough leave to leave your Venmo in the comments. In the Let comments. people know, people how, they know how they can tip you. Was it Philip? <laughs> it's probably my mom. Uh, I, hope you, mom. So. I hope so. Uh, it's <laughs> Might be my mom. It's at DOG Venmo. Uh, at, at DOG, how you spell it. D -E -H. If there's a placard you can put up, maybe like right here, it just says DOG. Okay. It's pinned in the top of the comments. I love I got that. You. Thank I got you, you so much. Nice. Appreciate that. If you could send us all, I guess, a bunch of money, I guess, mm -hmm. that would help us because we have to put out a record. We're independently releasing our next album, which is pretty exciting uh, because now we get to do whatever we want, and that's uh, all of our own money we get to lose. What goes into that what choice? Goes into that choice? Other people not wanting to work with us. <laughs> <laughs> Bare necessities. <laughs> <laughs> but like Matthew said, I mean, it does, it does also mean that we get to do whatever we want. I mean, so that, that's always good. And we don't have to pay anybody to do anything. The overwhelming amount of no's you receive is how you get to this decision. Crippling depression. Why? Why? <laughs> I mean, trust uh, me, we tried. Uh, we, tried <laughs> we tried to do it other ways, and they were like... Eh, nah. <laughs> we, we really like it, but we'd rather not work with you. We, uh, we yeah, like you guys, it. No, you guys good. are great, but I would rather you go die in a gutter somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Back okay. Anyways, but keep doing it. Yeah, love your stuff. My Plus, favorite. get on the guest favorite. list when you play in town next. Yeah. yeah. My favorite is, yeah, I love this. I love story in a penthouse, uh, but I can't afford this $4 cover. No, nah, yeah, can you put me on the, that'd be great, thanks. <laughs> love the band. Happy to support. You Happy. guys are great. Maybe one day. My favorite local band. If We're something gonna... bad happens to someone else, you know, you guys might you get guys, a shot. You guys are going to be the biggest band in the world, but not with my help. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in you. You're too good for me. It's, I... not, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I believe in you. That's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite version of that is I interviewed the comedian Burt Kreischer once. He said, Happy Madison, Happy Gilmore's company took a movie pitch from him. And they go, we love this so much. You should make it. And that's exactly what we're doing. Well, and they're going to be so sorry. Oh, yes. it's going to be great. I, I can't wait. This part, the, I'm not a revenge guy. Until mm -hmm. it comes you with might be. Uh, you might be. my sick, awesome band. We will be revenge men after we get all this massive success. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take those 3,300 <laughs> records we sell and we're going to shove it down their throats. <laughs> Again, tip, Again tip, them tip them on Venmo, please. please. <laughs> we'll uh, be laughing with the thousands of Spotify plays. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fractions of cents we'll get from it. <laughs> No, it's okay. Spotify needs that. Money. No, 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 no. Spotify needs all that. <laughs> oh my God! Your oh lights aren't going to get cut during this. <laughs> all right, Vin all right, Venmo the guys Venmo at guys DOG at so we can keep so the, the internet, keep internet on. on. Yeah. Let's let's, let's, give, the let's what give the people what they want. And uh, give us some hey go hey go stream our music for free on Spotify. Seriously, yeah. Please. It's there. I'd recommend at least waiting till Christmas for the, or maybe Thanksgiving to listen to one of them. But the other one, listen to it all day long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's hear another uh, song another if you got it, guys. guys. Alright. It starts here tonight. It starts here tonight. Independence. Absolutely. I'm actually going to play the bass because I brought it. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Scoot to your scoot to your left a little. Get a little more familiar with the drum. Cool. Touch Jack's leg. So it's 
the big square I'm not I'm supposed to be looking at, not the little square. She touched my leg. She touched she my, my leg. leg. We had a great day, Mary. We had a great day. And this song's called Lost at Sea. It's uh, uh, going to be on our next album, which is going to be so good. And our music video comes out on Friday for the not this song. Having a blast, having aren't, a we blast guys? aren't we, guys? Always! No, that was Thanks amazing. Much. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what is that? Tell, tell us about it. Tell us about it. This is a Vox instrument. It's a bass guitar, but it's like got a built-in amplifier to it. So that you can just play it around, and it actually also has a... Can the man get a solo, while, a he's solo while he's playing that? Solo cam? Well, I, can, I could even I can pl plug my phone into it, and I can play any song I want and play along to it, which is pretty cool. Give us a rip. Or, uh, but also, you could just put it, like, you know, it's got this drum machine built in. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you this bastard. is going to be great. And you can... <laughs> it's, it's got a... It's got a bunch that you can change how fast it goes and and whatnot and all the all the things and it's got some songs put in here too. This is this is the rock and roll, the rock and roll thing. So, I was about uh, to so you ask. Can get your phone and you and the drum machine all playing through the uh, amp at the same time. That's wonderful work. That's, That's the coolest work. instrument I've seen on the show. If Vox is watching, please start making them again. Please. Vox, please. They also make guitar versions. Look at this. Somebody needs somebody a needs road, sponsor. road sponsor. Come on, Vox. Hook what it does up. Jack Daniels and Vox have in common? They both sponsor this guy. DOG. That's right. That's right. It's happening. It's happening. Real quick, I'm going to let quick, you guys know we keep this thing keep going. Thing. Next week, we've got Beth Bombera. She's a great St. Louis artist. She's joining the show. I believe uh, it's Lily May after her. She's very talented. We've got Ben Nichols from Lucero joining the show in the next few weeks. And then I believe I just talked to him. I know we've got Rayana J. She's from Los Angeles. And then Sadler Vaden is coming on uh, the week after her. Uh, her plays a little guitar for Jason Isbell. And then we'll announce our uh, final of the season as well. DOG approved on the, uh, on the lineup. Is that fit for you guys? Absolutely. Lily May lives here in Nashville as well. And she's a total sweetheart and one of the most talented singers slash uh, musicians in town. So Right? Uh, right. But uh, those other things, Lucero School, I, 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 I haven't met any of those other people. But, uh, but I can speak highly of Lily May. I'm excited. I'm excited. And shout out to Katie Tupin. Tupin. Hooked us up with, you guys. Us up with you guys after Josh yeah, had been telling me about you for years. <laughs> so, yes, shout out, yeah, to, Katie shout out to Katie as well. As we well. love the lineup, love and we love meeting all these cool people like you guys. So thank you. So thank you. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks. Well, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's find out one more thing besides the Vox. What's uh, what's the living situation? Band, band live together? No, we don't. Um, oh, I thought that'd be cool if you did. We do get together to uh, rehearse about once, uh, that was, once a week that was eight or so. Years. That was eight years ago. Yeah, we tried that. <laughs> um, <laughs> as soon as uh, as soon yeah, we did all live together for a while, and we tried. Then Zach had to go and get married. Jerk. Jerk. And then divorced. <laughs> We don't have to dig into that, but maybe we can. I don't know. <laughs> Those are my next three questions. <laughs> we, yeah. It's just a circle of life. All that's the how it And the band is still going, dog. That's yeah. the, that's the uh, impressive thing. That's huge. That's huge. After, how long have you guys been together? Zach and I have been together for uh, almost 11 years now. And Dylan, eight, nine. Come, coming in on eight. That's impressive. That's impressive. And you get another... Yeah, they, yeah they, they've been together for a full decade. Plus. How did you celebrate? celebrate? Well, it's in February, so we're not partying yet. Got it. Got it. So, probably like a Valentine's Day live stream show. Uh, and I'll, be tuned, I'll be tuned in. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one of those if you will. Yeah, it's got to be weird. Does it get brought up a lot where it's like decisions get pushed to Zach? Which part? 
weird. I mean, other than everything, but... Yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is great. No, I'm thinking no, I'm in an argument. an argument. Dylan gets shouted Dylan down gets for shouted being down the uh, for junior, being member. junior member. I usually get shouted down for being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he earns his shouting yeah. down. Yeah. We seem perfectly seem sweet, perfectly tonight, sweet so. tonight, so no shouting Thank down. Shouting down. Yes. Um, um, well, remind everybody, hit everybody share. Hit you share, can win a DOG shirt. shirt. Let us hit know your favorite pro post song. Everybody hit the share button. And then you can win a shirt. Yeah. It's actually a really soft shirt. They're one we of have the soft, softest shirts. The softest shirts in uh, show business. Mm -hmm. As it's known. As it's known. It's common fact. <laughs> I mean, we're just glorified t-shirt salesmen at the end of the day, so you really have to put your best foot forward, which is the t-shirt quality. And now we're internet personalities. <laughs> I, like that that, <laughs> I like that that's been added to the roster of uh, shit a band does now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fun. I like, you guys are I influencers. Like, I want to be a, an a, I can be an AV tech after this. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you tried restarting it? <laughs> right. How's the browser? How's the browser? <laughs> oh, man. What browser are you using? Are you still getting an echo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if everybody that's listening has that going on. Sorry. Probably. We're new. <laughs> no. We'll do it again, and it will go deep. Our It'll get real weird. Our Venmo's at the top. <laughs> If you guys got one Sorry, more song in you, audio sucks. Uh, send us some. <laughs> we promise better audio <laughs> next time if you hit the third <laughs> tier of donations. Uh, and, a, and a tote bag. <laughs> if you send in the full one hundred dollars, you'll get uh, I don't know, I don't know. a better show next time. Yeah. <laughs> the good news and is you guys sound amazing. Zach's amazing. Left hand. Okay, well, as long as we sounded great, that's yes. all that yeah, matters. Yes. Fantastic. Can I bug you for Can one I more tune? One more tune? No. Oh, yeah. You got it? I mean, yes. <laughs> That'd be great. You're like, actually, no. <laughs> What's this last What's one this called? Last one called? I don't know. I didn't get this far. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's an interesting acoustic one, but I'm into it. All right. <laughs> we'll just, you know, do the, 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 the acoustic version. Yeah. 
you. Take out the mic. Wonderful job. <laughs> Monk, if you could kill a mic for a second. Everybody follow DOG. There is a Venmo at the top if you want to show them some love. And if you hit share, you're entered to one of, and win one of their t-shirts. We're going to grab that from their store. Go check out the new single. Gosh, it's been amazing talking to you guys. If there's anything, I'm going to unmute this real quick. If there's anything else you guys want to throw out there. Otherwise, got to promise to do something like this again. You guys are too interesting and too fun to talk to. We got to have a longer conversation. So I wanted to thank you guys and thank everybody for tuning in. DOG with some final words and we'll get out of here. Thank you, guys. Uh, we're going to be out Philanthropy. there. Philanthropy. <laughs> Two more words. Two more words. <laughs> uh, peace and love. Be cool. Uh, we're out here trying to do a good thing and play music and be cool. Uh, that's what it, it's about. And so if you're into that, hang with us. If not, fuck off. Love it. Check out DOG. Check out DOG. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.